Assalamu alaikum students Today we are going to start English grammar for class 7 Open your books at page 192 Today we will read the lesson which is related to preposition It is actually the use of prepositions We will read the text Point A is different prepositions used with the same verb for person and things. Well, students, here the examples are given, and the statement says that different prepositions, when they are used with the same verb, they are at times used for the person and at times for the things. For example, we uh, at the first place we have the word accompany by the sentence is the boy was accompanied by his sister when accompany is used with preposition by it is used for a person when we are talking about a person that this boy is accompanied by a sister when we use preposition by along with accompany but when we are going to use this verb for a thing then we will use preposition with like accompany with the angry report was accompanied with a blow hereby using preposition with along with company we will use it for the thing like the next one you can see that agree with I agree with you. When we use for a person, we are going to insert with along agree. And we are going to use agree too when we are talking about the things. Like I quit, I, I quite agree to your proposal. That I am agreeing with your proposal. If we come to the bottom, it is compete with. He competed with four boys in the race. Here preposition with is going to be used with compete when we are talking about the persons he competed with four boys in the race but when we are talking about the things we are going to use compete for he competed for a prize so in this way by using different propositions with the same verb we can clarify the use of preposition and verbs for the things and persons in the next page we can see like at point seven it is differ with i differ with you on this point when we are uh, using differ for a person we are going to insert preposition with and when we are talking about the thing we are going to insert in differ in i differ in opinion about this point next one is engage to we use engaged to when we are talking about a person. He is engaged to a girl. And we engage in when we are talking about something. Like he is engaged in this business. Uh, if we turn the next page, you can see like tied off. I am tied off my friend when we are talking about the person and tied with. I am tied with exercise. When you are going to use it as a thing. Next point is words followed by suitable prepositions. Sometimes some prepositions used with words. Like you can see in the first example, we must abide by the law. We always use by along with abide. Next one, the forests abound with tigers. Abound means numerous. And we are going to use always abound along with preposition with. When you are going to use word abide, it will be accompanied with preposition by. In the same way, wise people abstain from wine. Abstain from means when you try to avoid. And abstain is always used with preposition from so some prepositions when they are 
added to the words they they actually always used like acquitted is always going to be used with of it will give the meaning of uh, uh, being uh, released he is addicted to addicted is always used with to addicted to means when uh, you have a kind of uh, habit you have a kind of habit he was admitted to ninth class it means when you got admission somewhere so admitted is always going to be used with to then it will give the meaning of admission addicted it or uh, addicted is always used with to then it will gives the meaning of um, being a habit so in this way some prepositions when they are added with the words they give specific meanings like he was accused of theft it means uh, he he has the charge of theft so accused of means char charge of theft and it is always preposition uh, preposition of it is going to be used with the word accused then it gives the meaning of allegation like he arrived at Lahore, he is ashamed of his past. And when if we come to the bottom, this book belongs to Aslam. When we're talking about the um, position, when we will we'll use belongs to, if we come to next page, the building consists of three rooms. Consist is always followed by preposition of, and it will give the meaning that it has three rooms. I must comply with your orders that I must follow your orders comply always when it is um, followed with preposition with it means that um, we must follow she was deprived of her ornaments deprived always followed by her or um, preposition of then it gives the meaning that something which is uh, taken from you if we come to the next page here the same things are described he glanced at the letter if we turn the page here a few more examples are given i am pleased with you it means that i am very happy when pleased is followed with preposition with then come to next page like we have many examples i must rely on what he says it come to the bottom we sent for the doctor he suffered from fever in the same way you have to learn all these pages you have to go through these pages like uh, he trembled with fear and we have um, some more examples here i'm reading few of them but you have to go through all so it will make you clear that how you are going to use the um, uh, preposition when uh, it comes in the sentence as a person and when you are going to use as a thing children are fond of sweets he is not eligible for this post he has no enmity with him he is dear to me and students you have to read these pages up till page number two hundred two and uh, here again it is the same thing which is described and you have to go through them again. Thank you.